begin, we're going to cut right out to Liberty, the Soul Creek Community Church. Family members of Chad Rogers expected to speak about the findings today. Let's we listen. Come in. here today to um, make a statement. Um, my name is Roy Moran. I'm the pastor here at Shoal Creek Community Church, and um, we are mourning the loss today of a dear friend and brother, Chad Rogers. And I want to take this time to introduce his father, Greg, to you. Uh, Greg's going to make a statement, and neither Greg nor I will take any questions. And I apologize, I'm reading, but it's the best way to get through this. Our family is heartbroken at the loss of our, our son, brother, husband, and father. We love Chad and, and we'll always love him. Even though our hearts are sad, we know that he's with his father in heaven. Chad always had a lot of questions, but he had an undying faith of Jesus who lived and died and rose again to earn our place with the Heavenly Father's family. You know, we know how loved we are when this community wraps his arms around us like this one did. Thank you for all the love and support that has been shown. I would especially like to thank a few individuals, uh, Tim Fritzen and Trevor Moran for their unbelievable leadership and the rescue effort and the love for my son Chad. Liberty Christian Fellowship for the use of their building. It was as the command center in, in the search for Chad. Hundreds and hundreds of men and women and children who searched for Chad as if they were his own. The Liberty Police Force for their professionalism and sensitivity. Liberty Area grocery stores and restaurants for the food donated to search and rescue teams. For those that would like to honor Chad, there is a trust fund set up. Um, it's the Chad Rogers Memorial Fund. Um, care of U.S. Bank, 1909 West Kansas Street in Liberty, Missouri, 64068. Um, at one point I asked for the eyes of God, and I'm thankful that we got them and, and we, can, we can now send him home. So thank you all. Let me just reiterate once again that uh, a memorial fund has been set up for Chad to support his son, Matthew, and his wife, Sarah. That's a Chad Rogers Memorial Fund, care of U.S. Bank, 1909, West Kansas Street, Liberty, Missouri, 64068. For those who would like to express their condolences, they can go to the fan page. The name has now been changed to Chad Rogers Is Home. We would ask that you would let the family mourn in private the loss of this uh, dear brother, father, son, as they try to figure out life ahead. And all other questions can be asked of the Liberty Police Department uh, as they continue the investigation. Thanks very much. Can I spell your name? High school name, sir. M-O-R-A-N. Hello, R-A-N. You've been listening to Roy Moran, the pastor of Soul Creek Community Church in Liberty, as well as the father of Chad Rogers, Greg Rogers, very heartbroken, lying on his faith this afternoon with this bad news. Talking about uh, Chad's wife and son, son Matthew and wife Sarah, and having a... Uh a financial aid set up for them, hoping people might be moved to give. A lot of questions still, though, from the Liberty Police and from the family about the uh, possibilities of why this might have happened or what might have happened. Uh, people concerned about going out running, of course, in that area and other parts of the, of the city. Um, of course, a body being found there in those porta potties near the junior high there, uh, now believed to be that of Chad Rogers. The families believe that since early this afternoon. Police yet to officially uh, say that waiting for the medical examiner, and we will continue to gather details and try to get police to give us a little more information so that we can share with you in hopes of maybe suppressing some of those fears people might have about what might have happened to this, this runner, this avid runner, while he sure. was out running. Uh, he left Monday night to go for a run. He never returned. He, uh, it was a week-long search uh, since uh, his family reported him missing Tuesday. An intense uh, presence online and social media. You heard there the uh, Bring Chad Home Facebook pages 
now been called the Chad Rogers is home Facebook page. A lot of people now leaving messages of condolences to his family and friends as the family does ask for some privacy over the next couple of days as they mourn in their grief. We're going to continue. We've got crews here as well as at the Liberty Police Department. We'll continue to work this story to find out the very latest. We, uh, of course, have the very latest on our website. All the stories that we've covered this week at KSHB.com. And, of course, you're, if you're interested in giving, we'll have information more on that fund that they've set up for you on our website as well and have it for you in later newscasts, too, in case you missed it when they mentioned it there in the press conference. We'll be right back after the break.